Uh, copy Jason. Copy Jason. Okay, this is me, this is me. What am I doing? What am I, okay. Uh, Jason. Uh, we really need the 50mm to 2.1. I can't shoot the scene on the 24, it's just, it's too wide. If you could bring the 50mm, that would be absolutely amazing. We really need to get this shoot going. Jason. <sighs> Let's just do the take. So, not gonna be using this anymore. This is pretty much what we used to use. Throw that one away and get this. Let's get into the video. What's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. This is the Hollyland C1. So this is the SolidCom C1. It is a fabulous headset and uh, it's pretty much a must when you're on set. So pretty much put it on your head. When it's up, it's not transmitting anything, but you can see still hear absolutely everyone that's on this feed, put it down, you'll hear a click and then you can start talking. That's what makes this thing incredible. Plus, it's actually removable batteries. You can recharge them, put them back in. There's a whole bunch of batteries on there so you can utilize this thing right here, put a fresh battery in and you are away. If you are on set, you're gonna find these incredibly useful. Even if you have a really small set, it is really great. Mainly for the fact that if you do want someone to get something, a different lens or a different filter, you don't have to yell across. Or if they're heading to the car and they're within range, you can still contact them. That is an absolute incredible thing to do and it has been so good to use on set. Sure, I haven't used these in probably about a month now because I traveled to uh, Thailand, I've moved house and studio, I went to New Zealand and haven't actually been on a proper set in quite some time. I'm actually on set uh, this week and next week, so getting really hectic back into the set life again. So these are gonna be incredibly useful. So anyway, let's look at some of the specs of the Solidcom C1. So the Hollyland Solidcom C1 is a full wireless intercom headset system suitable for filmmakers and content creators. The system operates in the 1.9 GHz band providing really reliable transmission range up to 1000 foot or 350 meters range. It has rechargeable and replaceable batteries, has a total of 10 hours of working time per battery on the remote headset and 5 hours on the master headset. All this with a total package of 170 grams. And currently you can pick up the four cent on Amazon for 999 US. Zalia, you wanna see something cool? Like put them on? Yeah, put these on. Ready? That's mine. Yep. <laughs> so put these over your ear. Okay. Mommy help you. So this one goes over your ear, that one goes on the top. Now, yeah. can you hear daddy? Yeah. And you can huh. talk into there? Huh. Talk into yeah. the microphone. You can hear me? Yeah. Ready? Watch this. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Easy. Perfect. Cool. Oh, here's a battery. This bit. Yeah. So if I hold the A. Hang on. So to connect these up, I hold the A for, what is it, maybe three seconds. You hold the A for three seconds and it will connect to yours as well. Yeah. Yeah, so go downstairs and we'll okay. test the range. Can you hear me, Azalea? Yeah. Oh, great. Connection completed. I don't know. <laughs> she holds the microphone up. <laughs> you don't have to hold it that close. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> what? Daddy. You can't see me, but you can hear me. You can't, you can't see me, but you can hear me. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> you can hear her breathing. Was well, that fun? Yeah. Yeah? You wanna, you finished? Um. Do you like them? Yeah? Also, just like to jump in here and say thank you to each and every one of you guys for watching my videos and uh, purchasing my LUTs. Link will be in the description below if you do want to check out my LUTs and that does help support my channel because, well, this video is not sponsored. Pretty much any video I've done so far isn't sponsored. So that helps me out to create more videos for you guys. Let's get back into the video. 
Now these are incredibly comfortable and I absolutely love using these on set. And the great thing is, is that it actually has one ear that's isn't actually covered so that is incredibly useful because you can hear everything that's happening in one ear and if someone actually physically talks to you you can still hear them and you don't have to fully take this off now there has been a few circumstances where some people put these around their neck and he's trying to contact them and uh, obviously they can't hear you because you're trying to talk through here and uh, they're ages away and now you have to physically go over and try and find them wherever the hell they are. So you have to try and tell people and teach people to leave this on, leave it on and flick it up. Do not leave this down because there's a whole bunch of chatter that goes through the ear and all they need to do is flick it up. They don't have to take it off. They just need to flick it up. It's perfectly fine. But that's what makes it so much easier is that you do have that ability just to flick it up and bring it down. And it's so good. Now what I've actually found is that if you actually replace this thing, the over ear one with this, you could probably actually use these for a little bit longer. It does feel a little bit more comfortable if it just sits on the ear, but for me, uh, the over ear one fits perfectly because of my hat is kind of sitting in the way and just giving it a little bit more rest. But uh, a lot of other people have thought that this one is a little bit better. Very easy to use. All you do is just cover it straight over. This one, you pretty much just put it on, rotate it and locks in. Now, when it comes to the full pack, you get four in the full pack. So one of them is actually the master. So the master is pretty much, I've named it M and it's the red one. So this one is the main one that actually everyone connects to. So if you go completely out of range, uh, no one can contact you. But the master, if the master is, let's say the director or the cinematographer, you pretty much put them in charge and they're 100% with the camera the whole time. And then uh, the other ones are slaves and uh, essentially they will go off and if they go out of range, everyone still can talk to the person that has the master. So that is really good. So you just have to make sure that the master doesn't go out of range, go into an elevator and uh, you know, you won't lose communication through the whole team. But you know, if there is four people, you just have the main four, the director, the cinematographer, maybe the first AC and probably the gaffer as well. Those kind of four can work together. And if you did actually want to have extra on this set, all you need to do is just pair them together and you can pair a few more onto the set. I think it's a maximum of six that you can actually utilize. But I think the really cool thing is that I think they have like a, a hub, like a station that you can actually purchase as well. And you can hook up eight to uh, that hub. But you can also sync that hub to another couple of hubs. And essentially that's going to give you uh, another eight or even another eight. So it'll give you like 24. Is that correct math? 24 if you've got three hubs, which is pretty impressive. That's pretty much a whole film crew, which a whole small film crew. Uh, but that is really impressive and uh, it's quite handy. So yeah. Now in terms of functionality, you can actually turn up the volume on the side here or obviously turn it down. It really depends on the sensitivity of your ears. It's super basic with the controls on here. You do have an on and off switch. You do have a USB-C. And then obviously on this other side is where the battery is stored. So it is a completely rechargeable battery. All you need to do is just take this out, get a brand new battery in and obviously charge the older battery, click it straight in, turn it back on and you're on straight away. Now, what I think this would be very, very useful for is car shoots, because if you have the camera operator and the driver having some headsets on, and then you've got the first AC or the focus puller having another headset on, you can communicate all together simultaneously. So the problem with CV radios is that when one person actually clicks that button down, the other person can't speak. And uh, that could be quite vital because you want things to be very smooth on the day, especially when you're on film sets as well. If you've got the director trying to tell the DOP or cinematographer what to do, then you've got the first AC or gaffer. You need these people to talk simultaneously. And if you can't, that's really hard and really difficult on set. And it could just slow the workflow down a lot more. Now, what are my overall thoughts on the Solcom C1? Well, it's one of those things that is pretty much a must on set. Like there probably isn't a major set that I'll ever be on and not have these on. And if the crew doesn't have them, it would probably annoy me because uh, it can be difficult to find someone on set sometimes. It can be actually difficult to talk across because usually on set, there's like, you know, it depends on the size of the set, but a whole bunch of people are having different conversations with each other. And it's just so good to actually communicate with someone through the headset and, uh, or even a crew that can just uh, like, 
or even let's, let's just say the camera crew and lighting crew can talk to each other. And that can be incredibly useful if you wanna try and really specifically nail down on, on some shots, on some specific lightings. You can talk about specific gear. Uh, even if someone's going to the car, they're still gonna be in communication. You don't have to call someone. You don't have to be on a little two-way two radio. Those things are a way of the past and it's really annoying because when you wanna talk and you have to wait for someone to reply, you have to say over, and over. you know, it's that's old school. Solicom is so good. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. There is a link in the description below if you do wanna check these out and uh, yeah, check out these videos as well if you do wanna check out these. They're uh, pretty interesting. Hopefully they're interesting to you and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.